All right, boys, girls, children of all ages. Um, this is a new one. I don't think I've seen one like this before. So I got this R35 GTR that I drove in the shop. Um, it made a bunch of racket. I thought I had a broken rod, um, but you know, I gave it benefit of the doubt. Said maybe it could be the the flex plate section of it or the tail shaft of the the um, and housing. So it uses that on a GTR, and it constantly spins along with this weird clutch piece and then there's not I guess it's a spring piece to keep in a rattle out and you don't see your actual like your flywheel or flex plate um so anyways that drives because it spins with the engine all that stuff does too the output spins so the drive shaft spins all the time runs back into the transaxle and then you know depending on if you're in gear or not does whatever either makes wheels work or doesn't so anyways just so you understand that so we thought the rattle could have been you know, in one of these components the tail shaft those are common those um those will go out the bearings will go out and they'll flop around and make a bunch of racket so that's what we thought <laughs> but because i drove it in here i you know thought for sure that this wouldn't be the case but check this out so we can take the flex plate flywheel you hear that see that okay now i'll watch the run out in it you ready See how it's moving all around, like in and out and everything? Okay. Now, mind you, this thing drove in here. So watch up here on the front. So you can watch the crank. There's the, the balancer. Watch this. Shaking the whole car. But see how there's no movement at all? See all the movement? This thing blows my mind. Drove onto the tow truck. I drove in and out of the shop like a handful of times, probably 10 or 15 times. I moved it in and out because uh, I didn't want to work on this one at that period of time. I was working on all the other stuff. Yeah. I need in here. So, um, anyways, the um, but I literally, no lie, I've drove it. Now, I didn't drive good, spitting and sputtered and stuff and sound like like it had a broke, <laughs> broke rods, but it's just crazy. I've never seen one with a broke crank run actually run and operate and do things like that so especially you know this thing's got multiple cam sensors and a you know, crank sensor on the back and everything else and somehow it still ran anyways just thought y'all would find it interesting as well